Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, I know it's been a while since we last posted some content on here, uh, and the reason for that really is just because I haven't needed to make anything for a while. Um, but today we are going to make something. We're going to make ourselves a, a little wooden crate that we're going to use for transporting our stuff to the market on Saturdays. Usually I've been using these plastic boxes, but over time they get broken and damaged from lifting it in and out the car and stuff, um, and banged around. Um, and there's nowhere where we live that sells the heavy duty ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this broken plastic one with a wooden crate that hopefully should last a little bit longer. So we're going to start off with doing the sides and to make some repeatability what we've done is we've set up a sacrificial fence on the mitre saw here, chop saw, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a stop block here at 13 inches and that will allow me to make the same cut over and over again. I need six pieces for this. You can see I've added some painter's tape there at every 13 inches going down the board um, and that's going to help reduce some of the tear up that's going to occur on this pine with the with the chop saw blade. Look at that nice clean edges both sides now thanks to the painter's tape. Okay so we're going to clamp up these sides now and <clears throat> don't need a lot of pressure on these clamps we're only holding it together while the glue sets up and to keep the boards nice and flat I've got these scrap pieces of wood wrapped in packing, uh, packing tape which I can use as a call to, on both sides and that'll keep that nice and flat so we're just going to go ahead now and glue up these edges Yeah, so while those uh, sides are in glue up, what we'll do now is we'll move on to cutting some of the, um, the long pieces for the other sides. Um, so I've moved the fence out a little bit and I've glued on the stop block here at 21 inches from the blade to there. I'm just going to trim off the end of this board here because it's not very square. 21, 21, 21. So we get six more boards. So uh, two of those boards that we've just cut um, need to come down to three inches now, um, and that's for the, for the spacing. So we'll do that now on the, the table saw.
Okay, so we're ready to put the sides on and it's at this point in your project that what you're going to do is you're going to take all of those pieces that you've lovingly cut, sanded and got ready for the next part and you're going to throw them out the garage and you're going to drive down to the DIY store, you're going to buy four more pieces of wood for the same price as a small family hatchback, you're going to drive five kilometres back, you're going to get someone to give you a slap, you're going to have to recut, resaw, get some new glasses because you're stupid and you can't read your own plans. Right, so we're back, we're back on track-ish, uh, so we've got the boards cut, we'll send them down once we've got them on the, the crate. Uh, so we're going to start off with the bottom piece, we'll add some glue. Put them with that. Okay, so that's it for this one guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let's hope that that crate lasts a little bit longer than the plastic one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.